Hello and welcome to episode 2 of how to create an RPG game in Go.4 and today we are going to be creating or using tile sets. So if you are new to the tile sets, this is going to be perfect. Or, you know, if you like just need some help with tile sets, this is also perfect. But before we get started, I just want to ask if you could go down below, hit that subscribe button, drop a like on this video to help you to push this series to more inspiring game developers, you know, that want to learn to make their own go to games as well. But let's get started with episode two and use some tile sets. Okay, so to get started, we are now in our world scene. In the last episode, we made this player that has all its animations and everything like that. But in this episode, we're going to start in the world scene and we're going to go and add our tile map, right? So this is what is going to be, you know, going to have all of the the artwork, right? So this is where all the artwork is going to be and it's what makes the game actually look good, right? So there's a ton of new changes, like a ton of new changes from Go.3. So we're, we're going to, you know, be going through all the different changes, like from layers, layers are this is a super cool feature and it's very very useful like i'm not gonna lie it's super useful i was playing around with it and it's just like it's perfect for uh godot so this is like a huge step so i want to go over all you know some of the new changes and everything like that but let's start it out basic and let's just go and create tiles right so we have our tile map we come over here to our tile set and we can click new tile set and then you can see you know some squares come up it doesn't really matter but if we click on this tile set you see a bunch of stuff come up. We're not going to use any of this right now. We are going to use it in a minute though. So it brings up our tile map and our tile set, two different areas. So we have to go to our tile set so we can drag in our art, you know, our tile sheet. So we'll go to tile set and we'll just drag in the planes tile set. And we can just say yes. And then we'll also drag in the grass tile set. And you'll just drag in, you know, all the tile sets that we need. So like the object tile set, we'll, we'll also drag in. And that's all we're going to need for the this tile set, right? So if you do need this artwork, there is going to be a link in the description. It is for, or it's made from Game Endeavor. So you can go download his art set and you can just pick out these three, uh, these three sprite sheets from that tile set so we can you know so you can follow along with this tutorial and now we have you know a scene right so it made all these tiles right these are all tiles so if you want to delete tiles you can actually go up here click this eraser button and then you can drag over these tiles and it will remove them so now those are no longer tiles right and then we can just like we can remove all of them kind of if you want I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, obviously all these up here we're gonna use, but right, so now we have no tiles. So it starts every single thing as, as a tile, but to create a tile, we have to go to paint, and then we actually, oh wait, we gotta go to setup, and then we actually have to, you know, click on tiles. Wait, wait, no, you go from eraser, you you gotta turn the eraser off, right? So you have to turn the eraser off. So if it's blue, it's on, if, you, if it's white, it's off, and then you click on tiles, right? So now we have a, a dirt tile, and we can just make all these tiles because we're going to need all of these, obviously, and then all of these. And, you know, down here, we're going to need these for when we build our mountain. And we'll also need these and these. And then, like, when we go to our bigger tile set, right, let's remove all these tiles down here that we don't want. We'll click the eraser. And then you can remove all the tiles that you don't want. This is what's good about Go.4, what I'm about to show you right here. So we'll actually just remove all of these. This is the big change and this is what's super good. So I, we just went over how to create, you know, one square tiles, right? So click, 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 you know, those are all one square tiles now, but to make a two square tile, like let's say this entire tree needs to be our tile, right? You click and then you drag, or wait, wait, wait. No, you go back, let's delete that. So you do a shift click, so you go, you turn the eraser off, you shift, and then you drag, right? So now, as you can see, that's one tile. That's one tile, that's one tile, and that's one tile, right? So now this is four tiles, and then so you gotta do shift and then drag to make a bigger tile. And then our grass PNG is a tile as well. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make our tile set, right? So if we go to our objects and we say select, we select this, and then Whoops, 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 we go over here, we go back to our tile set, and then we click on the little paint right here, the pencil, we click on it, and then we can drag it into our map, right? So then we can place some trees, 
like so. Place some bushes, place some trees, place some you know roots. Go to the grass, click it, you know, draw some grass in. You go to the plains, we can make a little mountain right here. You know, and then come around like this, bring it around. And right, and then you have a you know a little cliff right there, right? So that's kind of like how you draw. So it's gonna take a minute to make up a good looking map. So I'm gonna go to time lapse real quick as we make a map, and then I'm gonna cut back whenever we go and we mess with the layers to make layer two, layer three, and all this stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna be right back as soon as I finish creating this little this little map for us, a little basic starter map. So if you wanna copy it exactly, I recommend that so you can follow along with the rest of this series. But if you don't, go on now. And that's kind of how you do the basics of tile set. After this time lapse, I'm gonna go over some of the more advanced features. So yeah, let's just make the map real quick and then I'll be right back. layer one complete so that's the very back layer but if we go to our time map and we go to layers we can just name this like the the ground right or yeah we'll just name it the ground like the very very back and then if we can if we click add element then we can do like we can do mountains or or i mean i, I guess we can just do like i i mean it, it's kind of like mount it's like cliffs right because it's like all the different like things in front which for us it's only going to be like a little mountain but it'd be you know it could be many different things right so to do this now we just go and then in, as you can see right here in our tile map it says ground if we click on cliff it's going to fade everything out and then now we have a brand new layer so uh, if we go to paint and we say we want to paint maybe maybe it will work so paint I don't know wait so we got to go to our tile map and then paint and then click on one of these and then there we go so now we're on cliff and you can see all the little squares so we can say let's make this up here let's say we want to make this up here right we'll go like how far do we want our cliff to go so We'll just go like, like right there, right? And then at the end of our cliff, we'll have, you know, that little ground. And as you can see, you can still see the green from the grass in the background. And then we'll do one of these and then the bottom of the cliff. And then we need one of these inside cliff pieces and then another corner. And then kind of like, we'll just go straight all the way back and then fill this in with grass. And as you can see, our cliff is now complete. So if we were to play the game, you can see like kind of how we can still see behind it, right? We can still see the ground and it's like a second layer. Cause like normally in the old, in the old Godot, we'd have to, you know, make a new tile map so we can have it on top of the grass or else it would cancel out the grass. But as you can see, this works a lot better. And then we're also gonna go and add a new element. And this is gonna be called our like uh, our Y sort element because this is what everything's gonna Y sort in, right? So, like our trees, our rocks, our signs, anything that the player can walk in front of, but can all, but also needs to be able to walk behind, right? So we'll just add some tree stumps and we'll make sure we switch this to the Y sort layer, and then we can go around and we can just you know add some tree trunks. We'll add one here. We'll add one like right here. We'll add one, you know, back here. We'll add one up here. And then we can, you know, just kind of go around and add, you know, them anywhere. Like we'll just add one here. And then we can go to our big trees. We can add a big tree here, a big tree here, and then like a big tree down here or somewhere, you know, it doesn't really matter. But just go around, decorate the map up. You know, we'll add, we'll add a, we'll add a good amount of little trees. Like we'll do like that. And then maybe a tree down here. 
maybe a tree right here maybe a tree you know like covering over the cliff a little bit and let's put a bush up here on the top and then let's put like you know a couple more bushes like we'll put one like down here we'll put one like right here and then oh, let's actually add one more tree right here because it looks kind of bland and then we can add some rocks so we'll do a rock here a rock like on top of the cliff a rock over here a rock down here a rock right here right just kind of anywhere and then we can also add in a little crate like we'll add a crate like right here i guess and then we'll add a sign right there and i mean that's kind of our map let's add one more crate down here just so it's there right there and as you can see you know that is our map complete and obviously if we go to our world and we instance our player scene now we'll be able to walk around in our world as you can see it looks good map is looking amazing we got a player that you know can move around walk around has idle animations but as you can see we can just walk right over these stumps we can walk on top of the trees which is not good we can walk on the cliff and we can kind of just walk anywhere we want the trees don't you know go behind and in front of the player as you can see so like if we have this little tree if we're walking right here right or i guess we'll go i mean yeah i mean it doesn't really matter right here so if we're walking here we need to be in front of the tree right we are in front of the tree but if we go right here and then we walk across we should be behind the tree right here we should not be you know showing in front we should be showing behind the tree the tree needs to be in front and to fix that that's called y sorting so y sorting is going to be pretty easy but it's also a little bit complex and i want to you know dedicate an entire video to y sorting because it is very very important and it's like it's kind of what makes the game the game because like if you're walking on top of trees and stuff like this is it really a game no not really so next episode we're going to be adding y sort and collisions so we'll be able to you know bump into this tree we'll be able to walk behind the tree be able to walk in front of the tree same with the sign same with the little rock you know we wouldn't be able to just walk on top of this cliff and uh all that so that's gonna look very good and it's gonna make the game look a lot better than it does currently right so we also if we go over here to our tile map we can see that we have our layers and we have y sort right here so technically you would just turn this on right and then you would play and then y sort and should be working but it's not because we have no collisions and we have nothing else but that's what next episode is for and then you know we have our position of our tile map our visibility which is kind of basic if you change the color of this it's just going to give it a tint that's just like the old godot right and all this is kind of in the old godot that's all in the old godot i think these are in the old godot and these are for sure in the old godot so yeah but up here this is all new stuff right this is this is not in the old godot and actually if you are you know trying to finish out your tile set we're going to be using you know the physics layer in the next episode because that's how you add collisions and we're also going to be going over the uh, whoops we're also going to be going over the rendering or no probably not we probably may maybe i mean we'll, we'll see we'll see but that will all be in episode three so if you you know do need help with collisions why sorting stuff like that for your tile map check out episode three of this series it's going to be coming out you know very very soon and i'll have a link to it in the description or in the pinned comment below so i'll have a link to the playlist of this series they all are uploaded in order and if you look at the bottom right of the thumbnail there's going to be a little number like one two three four five six seven and it's going to be kind of the order or the episode number of this series so thank you guys so 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 much for watching and i hope this you know video was pretty helpful i hope you learned a little bit about the new tile set system in godot but remember, tiles are collisions and Y sword is next episode, which is very important to your tile set. Just could not fit it into this episode. But until next time, hit that subscribe button, drop a like so more inspiring game developers can learn to make their own go to games as well. Stay safe and have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.